What's up everybody? Brendan here. Another quick little update video on the Mustang. Um, just wanted to show you guys. Starting to do some of the intercooler piping. I actually had this pipe done already, but uh, when I went to bolt everything up, it fit and I ended up shimming the motor up just a hair to give me a little more room uh, between the frame rail and that hot side pipe there. So basically I just shimmed the motor mount with some washers and I uh, did the same thing on this side. So jacked it up a little bit. When I did that, this pipe here didn't fit anymore. So it was uh, it was just a pain to get in the um, intercooler here. So I cut it and I ended up having to add some stuff to it. And these are some ugly tacks that I have up there right now. Uh, they're black because I had the tape there and it burned into the tape some and I ended up burning a hole. Um, but she's held in place. Everything lined up great on the V-band there, right there at the compressor housing. And uh, it was a breeze to slide right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this up. Hopefully I have enough argon, a little less than 500 PSI. Let's see here, there we go. So it's, it's literally, I mean, it, it looks like it's almost on zero there, but hopefully I'll have enough uh, to finish up this little bit of welding that I have to do on this pipe. And I'm gonna give the uh, weld supply store a call and hopefully they can hook me up with some more argon so I can finish this. I'm gonna mount the blow off valve up here. And then I still have to do from this side of the intercooler up to this uh, pipe right here. So i uh, gonna show you guys a little bit of the welding, do like a little time lapse, I guess, and go from there. All right, so I've only been TIG welding for a little bit now. Um, I can do enough to get me by. I haven't pressure tested these welds here yet but I was gonna wait until I uh, finished all the piping and everything and then pressure test it and if I had a little leak go back and fill it in or whatever but uh, one thing that I've learned for sure is cleanliness so I got some acetone down here and a red scotch bright over there and what I'm gonna do is sand all the areas that I plan on welding with that red scotch bright then I'm gonna go back, put some acetone on that rag, and wipe it all down. And also, I've been wiping down the uh, filler rod, and my welds have been coming out fairly clean. Like I've said, I'm no professional. I literally just started doing this a few months ago. I'm happy with it, and I'm able to do everything myself. I don't have to pay anybody, and I'm learning a new skill at the same time. So I'm gonna set you guys up on the welder, and you can uh, watch the process. tip off and get it clean but I'm running out of a stub of tungsten here so I'm probably gonna end up having to uh, cut a new piece and grind on that Alright you guys, got everything welded up, 
definitely not my best work but uh every day is a learning experience this one right here was pretty decent but uh this one was not it started blowing a hole so i had to uh reevaluate the situation i think what i'm doing is just trying to rush it and uh i'm just getting the whole deal too hot that's one of the things i got to work on is just calm down let stuff cool off and go from there that and uh i have to learn how to avoid dipping the freaking tungsten in the weld a lot of that is probably that but yeah so uh let this cool off for a little bit, put it back in the car over there, and then uh, I'm gonna go grab some lunch while I'm waiting for this to cool. All right, so we got the uh, intercooler pipe on this side done. Comes off the compressor housing there, and then goes between the uh, fan and the wastegate here. Comes down under the radiator support. Plenty of clearance here. Switch over, goes to the intercooler. So now the only thing left to do with this side is uh, weld the blow off valve on. Haven't decided exactly where I'm gonna put that yet. Probably gonna be somewhere in this general area here. Um, definitely gonna be on this pipe though, because on this side, I'm going to have this pipe run to this pipe. And uh, also gonna have the downpipe coming out here and coming out of the bumper. Ignore these vice grips. I lost the uh, rubber insulator for the bottom of the radiator. So I just got that in there to keep the radiator at the correct height. But uh, yeah, this one came out good. I'm happy with it. I am out of tight bends here. And as you can see, uh, we gotta get from here to there, which this will be a little more straight up and down in there. So we basically gotta get to this pipe here, keep it inside the frame rail, which this is gonna reduce down to three inch. This is a three and a half inch pipe here. I think I'm gonna end up having to uh, trim some of this off and just do some pie cuts up here because I don't have any tight radius 90 stuff. So I'm gonna get this uh, trimmed down a little bit and make up some pie cuts. All right, I got all my pie cuts um, deburred and sanded and everything, nice and smooth on the edges. So I cut out six of them. Five at nine degrees is supposed to be um, a 90 degree bend, but I guess I didn't cut them right because five was about like 80 degrees. So I cut a sixth one, it would be a little tighter than a 90, um, but I'll be able to make it work. Uh, this is what I've been using as a belt sander. I've just been throwing a pad on it and hooking the air hose up, turning it on, and uh, <laughs> using this to sand everything. Just get it nice and smooth so I got a good fit up. But doing stuff on a budget around here, and uh, I didn't see a point in buying a belt sander for one project. I mean, I'm not saying I would never do this again for a buddy or something, but uh, definitely not something that I'm going to invest for the one time in myself. So this DA with uh, with some sandpaper up there has been working out pretty good. All right, so I suck at filming and getting work done at the same time. Got a lot of stuff done since I finished this pipe up. I uh, finished this upper coolant pipe right here. So I went ahead and since I had finished that one, I figured I'd do the lower hose. So we got this one all tacked up in place, ready to be welded up. Everything clears the cold side piping. Next thing was this pipe uh, that ran from the charge pipe down here to the intercooler. And I just finished tacking all that up as well. So just kind of waiting for this to cool. And then I'm gonna throw that back in there and make sure everything fits. All right, got the charge pipe pulled tight up here. It's got everything hooked up down here in the corner. Nice little kick out towards the outside of the car to make some space there between the frame rail. I uh, got everything down here good. Nice fit. I think that's going to do it.
little side shot going up into the fender. Little, you can see lots of room there. Plenty of room there. But yeah, getting the hang of the TIG welding. I've definitely learned that the better your fit up, the easier it is to uh, tack weld. And you can see like if your fit up's not as great, like I blew a little hole right there. You can always go back and fill these in if you take your time. Everything's coming along. Starting to look like something. <laughs>